Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on bearings and distances. In this video, we'll be looking at compass bearings and three figure bearings. Here, we'll be converting compass bearings to three figure bearings and at the same time, converting three figure bearings to compass bearings. So, we take our first problem. Problem one. Express each of the following compass bearings as three figure bearing. A. We have south 34 degrees east, B. North 52 degrees west, C. South 28 degrees west, and D. North 87 degrees east. So we start the solution from A. For A, we are going to draw the sketch of south 34 degrees east so we take a point and uh, south 34 degrees from south we are moving to the eastern direction by 34 degrees so we have the angle 34 degrees we then draw the line remember the three figure bearing is measured from the north pole and the direction is clockwise so in that case we need the angle here which is from the north pole to the line of 34 degrees we call it a theta and the angle between the north and the south is 180 degrees so we have our theta to be equal to 180 degrees minus 34 degrees and that gives 146 degrees therefore we can now express south 34 degrees east to be equal to 146 degrees this is the three figure equivalent of south 34 degrees east then we go to b part of the problem for b we have not 52 degrees west so we take our point we move from the north that is to the western direction for 52 degrees we draw the line and uh, for three figure bearing we start from the north and move clockwise until we get to this line so in that case we call it theta and the angle at a point is 360 degrees so we now have theta to be 360 degrees minus 52 degrees, which gives 308 degrees. We then state that not 52 degrees west is equal to 308 degrees, which is from the north pole up to the line we have here. So that is all for problem 1b. We go to 1c. For 1C, we have south 28 degrees west. So we see get our point south to the western region, which is angle 28 degrees. So we move south 28 degrees and then draw the line. And for your information, the three figure bearing equivalent of this is to start from the north pole and move clockwise until you get to this line so we move this is going to give us theta and if you look at this we said earlier that the angle between the north and the south is 180 degrees so if you are moving on getting to this place this is 180 degrees we still need to go 28 degrees ahead to get to the line so that theta now will be 180 degrees plus 28 degrees and that gives 208 degrees so that south 28 degrees west is equal to 208 degrees as three figure bearing that's all for problem 1c we go to 1d for 1d we have not 87 degrees east so we still get our point so we we'll move from the north 87 degrees to the eastern direction 
and then draw the line so this is very clear because we already have angle which moves from the north to join the line to be 87 degrees so we then conclude that not 87 degrees is is equal to 087 degrees which is the three figure bearing equivalent of not 87 degrees east that's all for problem 1d and then we move to problem 2 for problem 2 express each of the following three figure bearings as compass bearing so each of these is three figure bearing so we start from a we are still going to draw or sketch this so in our sketch we have our point we move from the north pole and move this is 90 this is 180 this is 217 which means it is in this second quadrant so we move here it is this is 270 plus 13 which gives 283 we then draw the line so to get the compass bearing equivalent of this we need this angle here and we call it a theta and the theta is going to be 360 degrees minus 283 degrees which gives 77 degrees so the compass bearing equivalent of 283 degrees will be not 77 degrees to the west so we have 283 degrees is equal to not 77 degrees west and that's all for a we then go for b for b we have 0 0.98 degrees so we have our point starting from the north this is 92 plus 8 we have it as 98 here and draw the line from here now to get the compass bearing equivalent of 0 0.98 degrees we need this angle so we call it theta and theta is 180 minus 98 degrees which is equal to 82 degrees we then express 0 0.98 degrees as south 82 degrees east as compass bearing equivalent of the three figure bearing in B so we go to C part of the problem for C we have 250 degrees we see get our point starting from here this is 9180 250 should be somewhere here so we start from the north and that is 250 degrees we draw the line um here we're interested in this angle here that's from the south to the line this is the angle you need we call it theta and since from the north up to this line is 250 and from north to south is 180 to get theta we just say 250 minus 180 degrees so we have theta is equal to 250 degrees minus 180 degrees and that gives 70 degrees so to state the compass bearing equivalent of 250 degrees we said it is south 70 degrees west south 70 degrees to the western direction and that's all for c we go for d for d we have 0 048 degrees so that we have our point 0 48 means when you move from the north you measure angle 48 degrees then you stop and we have our line so the compass bearing equivalent of 0 48 degrees is going to be not 48 degrees to the east and that's all for problem two we then go to problem three 
For problem 3, the bearing of Q from R is 120 degrees. State the bearing of R from Q. Give your answer in A, 3 figure bearing, B, compass bearing. So in our solution to the problem, the bearing of Q from R, from R, we need to sketch this. So we have our point and call it a R. From not, we move. This is 90, 120 should be somewhere here. So we have 120 degrees and draw the line. Then we have this point as Q, the bearing of Q from R. All our calculations are here. Then to state the bearing of R from Q, we move our calculation to this place. Before then, we need to find this angle, which we call theta. And theta is 180 minus 120 degrees. And that gives 60 degrees. This angle is alternate to this angle. So we have this angle here as 60 degrees. Now going back to the question, state the bearing of R from Q, from Q. And it must be in three figure bearing. We say the bearing of R from Q in three figure bearing is going to be from the north pole here up till the line joining R and Q. And we call that angle there as alpha. Remember, alpha is 360 minus 60 degrees, which is 300 degrees. So that the bearing of R from Q in three figure bearing is alpha and alpha is 300 degrees so that is that for part 3a for 3b the compass bearing is going to be not 60 degrees to the west and that's all for problem 3 we then go to problem 4 for problem 4, the bearing of J from K is south 51 degrees west. State the bearing of K from J. Give your answer in A, three figure bearing, B, compass bearing. So again, we are going to concentrate the beginning of the diagram at K. So we have the point K here, south 51 degrees west. From the south, we move angle 51 degrees to the western direction and have our line and this point here is J we know that this angle here is 51 degrees that is alternate angles we are to state the bearing of K from J from J here this is straight away no further calculation the bearing of K from J in A, three figure bearing is going to be 0, 051 degrees. Because you start from the north and move 51 degrees until you get to the line joining J and K. And uh, you add 0 to the beginning since it is just two digits, which gives 0, 051 degrees. Then the Compass bearing is still very clear also. That's going to be not 51 degrees east. And that's all for problem four. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Please remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on bearings and distances. Until we come your way again, goodbye.